بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علی اللہ مدد فرما الواحد القحار علی اللہ مدد فرما یا مولا مہربان مشکل کشا مدد فرما مدد فرما مدد فرما یا علی مدد ٹو آل فرینڈز آن لائن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو understand the translation i should say just a purport of it not the translation what i will do um, i have this kalam in front of me in urdu and you can see the transliteration in english and this is a beautiful kalam which was sung by our friend in jashan which we saw on saturday and then naveen saiba also posted video for us and lots of friends enjoyed it thoroughly and they asked the translation or the meaning of it so when we listen to it we can enjoy so the title of this kalam is sultan muhammad shah our 40th imam imam sultan muhammad shah we just celebrated his birthday 145th and we learned a lot about imam's work This Kalam, Burshiski Kalam, was written during his Imamat time. And the poet says, E Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, Tu Jalwai Nure Ilahi ki zinda shan hai, Or Tu hi zamane ka aliye murtaza hai. Poet says, O Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, You are the divine light you are the divine living light and you are the living imam of this time that is you are ali e murtaza then e hazrat e sultan muhammad shah tu ilm o hikmat aur ishq o mohabbat ka ماجزانہ اور کائناتی مدرس ہے اور تو ہی زمانے کا خزر اور ساکی بن کر ارواح ایمان و ایکان کو آب حیات پلا کر انہیں حیات سرمدی سے فیض یاب کرتا ہے تو ہمیشہ سے سچ بولنے والا قرآن ناطق ہے So the poet says that, O oh, Imam, you are truly knowledge and wisdom. You are love and mohabbat, aashiki. You are the miraculous and universal school of knowledge, knowledge and wisdom and love. You are truly the kisser of the time. We do know Khizr is being said to be the Imam during the time of Hazrat Musa a.s. So even in that time in history, that Imam is you. Why and how? The light is saying. And then he says, Saki ban kara. Now Saki is the term used for those who would serve you, you know, alcohol. If you go to Meh Khana, you know, uh, Sharaab Khana. and they would pour in your cups this alcohol and you keep drinking. Poet says that Mawla, you are that Saki. What Mawla is serving us? What Mawla is filling our cups with? And he says that you are filling our cups with the Iman. And the, the liquid which is being served by Imam, which is being given to us, it is the water of Um, water which gives us life for eternity. One never dies if we that, uh, drink that water. What is it called? From the um, fountain of youth. You never get old. You never die. You become ever living. That is what Imam is giving us. That is his blessing. 
and you are always the truth. You are the speaking book. Eh Hazrat Sultan, to Hazrat Israfil Bankar, Mere Alame Shaksime, Apna Majizana Sur Pugde, Take me Jeldi, Infaradi Kiamat ke Marahil me Dakal Hoker, Is Batini di Dar Kohasil Kersaku, Jiskirim Shadid Arzuman. Poet is saying that, oh my mom, you are like an Israfil angel. We do know Israfil is an angel who blows the trumpet. He, with his trumpet, what happens when that sur is blown? Miraculously, in the personal world, there is individual resurrection which happens. Now, these are difficult terms. In very simple words, what is being said here, when a Mormon Salik dies and comes back to life with the name of the Imam, it is that stage. And what happens during that stage? When a Mormon Salik sees the Didar of the Imam, he dies. Because these are Batni Didar we are talking about. We are not talking about physical Didar. The Didar is so powerful, so miraculous, so mesmerizing that our dense body cannot handle that Didar and one dies. But then you come back to life. And he says, the poet is says, uh, saying that I am desperately, desperately wanting that Didar. Aren't we all? Shukramala, Shukramala, such a beautiful wording, right? These words are such that it shows us the path, what we need to do to get this didar. Actually, these words are full of wisdom and knowledge. These words are showing us the steps. What do we need to do to be able to get to that level? alam e deen ka aqa Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah ab hijabat se nikal kar Apne tamam zahiri or batini sifat wa kamalat ke saath alam e zahir me jilwa figan ho chuka hai. Is liye uske perukar nihayat khush khursand hai. Dini aka ke in kamalat ko dekkar tamam ehle dunya heran ho chuke hai. Alam e deen, the world of the religion. The king of the world of the religion, Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, has come out actually of all the ways. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's time was very, very different time. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah has removed so many ways. And that's what poet is saying here, that he has removed so many ways and he has come, down, come out of the ways spiritually and physically. And due to that, the whole world, physical world, is becoming filled with his light. Why and how? Because of his majiza of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah. This Imam is very special Imam. And due to his coming out of the way, all his followers, all his jamaat is very happy. Not only that, but the whole world, when they are seeing the work of Imam, they are so surprised. They are perplexed that what Imam has done in his lifetime in this physical world. Very, very strange miracles, right? And if anybody thinks they do not know the miracles, I did deliver a session in Gujarati. We talked about it. We had a whole jashan on Saturday about Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's work. So there's a lot of content available for those who think they still don't know what Imam has done. Then the poet says, E Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, Mene jab apni roo mein baatini kaan ke zariye teri muqaddas nurani awaz sun li, tu mujhe yakin aaya ke tu Qur'an-e natik hone ke lihaz se apne vaade ka satcha hai or ilme laduni ki kaan hai. 
Now here we can understand what was the status of the poet. He says that I have heard with my Batini ears your Nurani voice. And due to that, I have come to believe. Now this belief, this yakin, is not only ilmul yakin. It is higher than that. And he says that I believe now that you are the one who is the speaking Quran and you are the haq, you are the truth, and you are the mind of ilme laduni, the given knowledge. Anyone who says like that, you can know what was their status. Meaning, not only annual yakin, but at the level of haqqul yakin, it was witnessed and seen how the imam is giving knowledge to his high-ranking mominees. Ehazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, tere yaad mere liye itaat ilahi ki manin aur tere muqaddas ishq ko muhabbat ka natija dine mubin ke ruhani aur ilmi fayuz o barakat hain bila shiba didar ka yakin o iman bhi teri zat e aqdas hai o imam sultan mohammad shah your remembrance for me is as if i am obedient to god when i have your love in my heart the outcome the result of that is that our religion our deen has become zahir it has become there is a zahurat which has happened how through the spiritual and um, knowledge blessings which were bestowed upon the poet and due to the didar his iman has also multiplied and become so firm in the on the personality of the imam then he says mere deen aka aur hamile noor e hazrat imam sultan muhammad shah ko kama haq ka hu pehchanna aur uski azmat wa buzurgi ke liye ikrar karna begana afraad ke liye bahut dushwar hai magar taufeeq e ilahi ke tahat ahl e mohabbat ke liye ye amar aasan hai poet is saying that our king of this religion the king of this religion who is the light who has all the light and that is imam sultan muhammad shah to recognize him to realize his exalted status his buzrugi his azmat and then to accept it for others it is extremely difficult it is extremely difficult but those who are blessed with the grace from allah and those who are lovers of imam for them this is easy now who are we talking about this is ismaili jamaat within this ismaili jamaat who are those who are seeking knowledge to recognize him it is about recognition with having the love in the heart and if he blesses then we can see in our batin the azmat and the shan of our imam then he says ay hazrat e imam sultan muhammad shah tere muqaddas ishq o mohabbat ki lazzat wa hilawat mere liye abad tak kam nahi hogi isliye ki tu mera azli mehboob e jaan hai Oh my Imam, Oh Mola, Sultan Muhammad Shah, for you the love, the ishq which I feel in my heart, it will never decrease until the end time. Why? Because you have been my beloved, beloved of my soul from the beginning. Now, this, you know, claim, this speech, this verse tells us that only those Only the one who gets to Hakkul Yakin Makam 
can see where the soul came from and what was the origin of it, where would it go, only that personality can say things like that. E Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, tu apne lutf e amim se mujhe marifat ka ruhani aab e hayat pila kar hayat e sarmaddi se sarfraz kar de. Hakikat mein dekha jai, tu tera farman e akdas hi ruh ka hakiki aab e hayat hai. जो मुरीदों को हमेशा मुयसर है। So he's praying now that oh my ma, you know the way we say in our third part, right? In the second part when we say dua, ya ali bilut fi kar drikni that apni lutf ko inayat se meri madad ko pahunch. That lutf, right? That is the word being used. Lutf is is love and affection. Which love and affection? Miraculous. Batani, Ruhani, Nurani. So he's saying that, Oh Mawla, give me your recognition from your Luth, from your miracles, from your affection, highest, most affection. And give me that water so I can drink and become ever living. Now when we say ever living, it Physical world, people would think that, oh, you know, people are doing different things to increase their longevity and whatnot, right? To look younger. This is not what we are saying here. This everlasting life is actually meaning that when we physically die, when our body is gone, we become one with Imam. Imam is ever living. And we become one with Imam. So ever living. That's the dua which we need to ask. So when we say asal me vasal, that is also one dua and it is same meaning. But you know, when we say Mala, give me the, let me drink from the fountain of youth or give me that water where I can live forever. You know, when we talk like that, when we use vocabulary like that, it gives us, it motivates us. It gives us hope. It wants us to do more because we fall in love with our imam. So that's the beauty when we have, when we read these verses and express our love in these words, it makes us wanting more and more. When we live in this physical world, you know, sometimes we are so going through so many tests in, la in life and we become so, you know, uh, thank you. We become so uh, demotivated, no energy. But when we read ilm like this, which is full of beauty of imam, full of description of his miracles, when we read like that, it gives us so much energy and power that we want to run fast to be one with the imam, to drink that water of ever-living life. What is the majizati name for that ever-living life? Alhai. Alhai is that name when we say that zikr alhai abundantly actually this is exactly what we are asking give me that water that i can become ever living be one with you mama then the poet says e hazrat imam sultan muhammad shah aftab noor aur haseen aur jameel mahtab batni hidayat ke tahat tere farman bardar hain جس کے باعث وہ اور دیگر انجم ظاہری دنیا میں بھی اور مقام ازل پر بھی اپنے طلوع و غروب کے ذریعے تاملین اور عارفین کے لیے اسرار غیب منکشف کرتے ہیں اسی طرح ظاہری اور باطنی آسمان بھی دونوں مقامات پر تیرے اطاعت گزار ہیں you know, I feel we could have done the whole class on this kalam. We didn't need any topic today because this verse is so dense. There are so many ilmi concepts given in just one verse. It, it is saying that, you know, my Mawla, Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, you are like the light of the sun. In our physical world, when we see the light of the sun, you are like the sun, light of the sun. 
you're beautiful like the moon in our universe. And they are your Farman Bardar. Chand or Suraj are your Farman Bardar due to your Batini Hidayat. The way we have day and night, it is because of the Farman Bardari of the Imam that the sun and the moon continue to give us day and nights. All the stars in our physical world and in the world of hereafter, sun rises and sun sets. And all this is happening due to your Farman Bardai in the physical world and in the spiritual world. And due to that, Kamilin, meaning those who are complete. So, you know, when we say Momin, Momin is a generic term. We say Momin is Salik, the one who walks on the path. When Momin continues to walk, the Salik becomes Arif, meaning the one who has recognition at the level of knowledge. But then a time comes when he becomes Kamil, meaning complete. We all understand Arif. So here Kamilin and Arifins are mentioned that they become aware of all the secrets of Imam. How? When they are able to see the sun, the moon, and the stars, the way they are doing Farman Bardari in this universe and in the other universe, the Batni universe. When someone is able to see that, who? Kamilin and Arifin can see that. And due to that seeing, that understanding, that Batni knowledge, they are able to understand. They have all the secrets being revealed to them. Nothing is hidden to them. And all those which are heavens, physical and spiritual heavens, Batni or Zahiri Asma, they all are at their places for man bardar of yours. Aad behishton ke mukabale mein mere liye unka malik zyada qabil takreem wa tarjih hai. ये मकाम में शुक्र और शादमानी की बात है कि हजरत इमाम सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह खुद इन जिन्नात का मालिक और फरिश्ता रिजवान है सो इन कुरान देर आर लेवल्स ऑफ हेवन्स बीइंग मेंशन राइट सो देर आर डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ हेवन्स एंड ऑल द लेवल्स ऑफ हेवन्स ऑल द लेवल्स यू प्रेज एनी लेवल ऑफ हेवन But my imams, my beloved Mahbub e Hakiki's praise and his respect, his honor is above all. And that stage is the stage of gratitude and happiness and joy, shukr guzari. That my Mawla, he is the Lord of all humans and the jinns. And also the Lord of the Firishta Rizwan. Now Rizwan is the name of an angel who is the Daroga, who is the doorman of the heavens. The Malik of this Firishta is also my Imam. If our Imam is the Daroga, uh, Imam is the uh, Malik of that Daroga, he has to open the door for us. We are Imam's followers. Do you see how this verse with knowledge gives us the confidence and the hope that yes, we are smiling, we are happy, Mola is with us. Then he says, Eh Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, Hasrat ki baat ye hai, ki tere muqaddas zahiri didar ke liye intahai koshish o khahish ke bawajud me na pohunt saka. Eh maashu ke jaan, aja. Mere dil me poshid ye ke saath ja guzin ho ja. Kurban on the humility. We have established. We have established from the wordings that what is the status of the poet. But look at his humility. He's saying that, oh Imam, I am desperate for your pure physical didar. 
he has gotten the spiritual and intellectual didar, the nurani didar, but he's still seeking the physical didar. And he's saying that I've worked so hard, I have desired it so much, Mola, but somehow to be able to have your physical didar, I have not gotten it yet. Oh, my beloved, come, come into my heart when nobody knows, nobody sees. Imagine we are so blessed in today's time that we have physical didar. Do we have spiritual and nurani didar? Then he says, E Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, Kainat par muhit, Teri rehmat ki musarrat wa shad maniya, Aasmani ish ke paristar wa gulam nasir ko maloom hai. E matlu be jaan, ये मेरे दिल की شدید आरजू है कि मैं तेरी मुकद्दस नूरानी हस्ती से हजार बार कुर्बान हो जाऊं इसलिए कि ऐसी फनायत में ही दोनों जहानों की कामयाबी पोशीदा है देन पोएट सेज दैट ओ इमाम सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह यू आर इनकंपसिंग द होल यूनिवर्स एंड it is your blessing which are being bestowed on this slave of yours. That heavenly love is being bestowed on the slave of yours. Oh, the beloved of my soul. It is very intense and desperate desire of mine that I be sacrificed on your Nurani Hasti. Again and again and again and again. Thousand times. Is liye ke aisi fanayat mein hi dunu jahano ki kamyabi pushita hai. To be fana in that way that we sacrifice ourselves for Imam. In that sacrificing, there is a success of the both world hidden in it. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Can you imagine that we, when we heard the Bushes Ki Kalam on Saturday, we did not understand the meaning. Even not understanding it, the words were so powerful, so pure, and so true that it all, it pulled us towards it. We all loved it, mesmerized. Of course, the singer and the instrument and everything was beautiful. But it becomes beautiful because what was sung was Imam's praises, full of knowledge and wisdom. So shukhar mola that we live in this technological time that we are able to see so many different ways of praising Imam, glorifying him. Shukran lillah, alhamdulillah. So I hope that now you will enjoy this kalam much more. नवीन साहब आइजाजत है हम क्लास की इब्तदा करें